Greetings. Welcome to a special Qigong lesson called the Eight Pieces of Brocade. Now this is one of the more traditional uh, forms of active Qigong. There's, there's um, sitting or quiet kinds of Qigongs, meditative Qigongs, and there's active that have to do with building up the strength of the body and moving the energy. And this was developed sometime, they believe, in around the 8th century in China and has been one of the more popular forms of Qigong. It's a very basic tonic set of exercises that is complete, it's simple, and it's something that uh, uh, you can do on a daily basis and gain a lot of benefit. And the thing is that it, being a simple, we tend to sort of discount the possible values of it, but don't, because traditionally this has been used by uh, practitioners from martial arts to meditators to the general sort of general public. So I highly recommend this set. Now, this is one of the things that, um, being very traditional, everybody has their own sort of approach to it. Just like with Tai Chi Chuan, even though the movements might be the same, Yang style, long form, it's set, it's choreographed set, but everybody does it a little bit differently. And the same with this set. Um, it's a, it's a very kind of specific set of movements and everybody does a little bit differently and I do too. So I hope that you enjoy them and I'm sure you will. And uh, just go ahead, it's easy to learn and uh, just take you of going through the tape a few times I think before you can learn. And then of course, like all Qigong, you should please try to go outside, particularly in the morning and practice your forms. Okay, and it's called Eight Pieces of Brocade which means something that is eight of them are all set together. So here, we'll, here you see the list of the various movements. The first one is called holding up the sky, and that's good for the uh, sort of stimulating the, the energy of the body, the chi, what we call the triple warmer. The second is drawing the bow, which is very good for the lungs and the chest. Raising the single arm, which is good for the spleen, and turning the head and looking back uh, works for the eyes and neck and helps to overcome dizziness, fatigue. Next is sway the head and the buttocks, which is really good for the whole spine and nervous system. Pulling the toes uh, with both hands, which is really a great overall exercise, particularly for the spine. Then punching uh, with focused gaze, which is really good for chi, blood circulation and strength. And finally, rise and fall on the tiptoes, which is a basic finishing exercise. So all of these um, will go through each one by itself, uh, work on them, and um, then you can put them all together, all right? So we'll start with what's called holding up the sky. Now let me show you first, well, how we'll do this, I'll show you first about the movement, and then we'll go through, generally speaking, the movements are done traditionally about nine times each. Some of these are rather long, and so given the, 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 the time for the tape, I might not do all of them. But um, generally, if you do about nine times, that's good. You can do more, you can do less, so, but it doesn't really matter. Anything that you do will be beneficial. All right. So, um, for, let's just uh, warm, let's just before we even do that, let's just, uh, just generally just soften the waist, roll down and up. Shake a little. Shake a leg a little bit. I think it's always good, even no matter what you're doing, just a little loosen, kind of get yourself uh, into your body before you start the exercises, formally. Hip shake, turn, rolling down and up.
All right, so set yourself, Wu Chi stance, feet shoulder width, knees soft, buttocks slightly tucked under, top of the head lifting, chin slightly tucked under, shoulders and upper ribs suspended from above. Breathing in and out through the nose, directing the breath to the lower belly. All the breathing is going to be done through the nose, in and out through the nose, and using uh, belly breathing, diaphragmatic breathing. All right. So let's start off with uh, what we call shogong or integration breath. And we're going to do this between each movement. So inhale. Just open yourself up. Invite the energy of the universe down. Feel it as it moves through the body. We here we want to put ourselves in tune with this energy. Just open up, feel this energy move down through the meridians, through the structure of the body, down the legs, and just ground it into the earth. Okay, so we'll do that in between each movement. First, holding up the sky. Now let me, once again, let me show you. We're going to squat a little bit. The fingers are going to interlace. We're going to inhale, bring the energy up to the sort of upper parts of the body. We're then going to exhale and move the energy down to the lower parts of the body, squatting down. We're then going to come up, stretch upward, and here we're going to press the feet down, press the arms up, hold the sky up. We're opening up the whole body and then relax. Just relax and let the arms come down. All right. So let's do this nine times, all right? So sink, inhale, exhale. I don't know if you can hear the little light music in the background. Generally, I don't do Qigong with music, but sometimes it's nice. And exhale. All right. Inhale. Now, you can do these at any speed that you want. Generally, you match it with the breath, but some of it is not necessary. Now, if you want to develop strength and power, you can, you, what you can do is imagine lifting a heavy weight and pressing down against resistance. Lifting up, pressing up, really open up, and pulling down into the center. That way you work your muscles and you're, you get the chi flowing more. Or most of us need to relax more. So this can be done easy and relaxing. Yeah, just easy and relaxing. And one more time. Now at the end of each movement, just relax. Let your mind and body expand out. Just close your eyes for a moment. Feel your body expand and experience what you've done. Just let go for a moment. Then, shokung. Gather. What we're going to do here, once again, is after we've done these exercises, just smooth everything, integrate everything. Good. 
Next, it's what we call draw a bow. Draw a bow. And let me demonstrate this. For this one, we're going to take a little wider stance. Your feet are facing straight ahead, and you want to be sitting nice and comfortably like you were sitting on a horse. Yeah. <clears throat> Keep the spine straight. Don't stick your buttocks out. If this gets to be a little too much, well, then uh, you, know, you can stand more upright. But this sitting down here helps you know, to, to uh, work the chi a little more. Okay, so we're going to inhale, bring the energy up through the body to the center of the chest. We're then going to make a fist with one hand. In this case, it's the right hand. The other hand makes a V shape. You're, you're folding in the little two fingers with your thumb, sort of like, a, you know, a hey, peace brother, that kind of thing. And as we pull the bow, the hand stretches out and this is directly to the side. You look through the V, and then there's going to be a relaxation to the center, and then sink the energy down. So that's, we're going to do this on both sides, all right? And we would be doing it nine times, all right? This one takes a little bit of time, so we might not do quite nine, all right? So starting off, inhale, bring the energy up. Make the fist and V. Exhale. Focus in between the two fingers. Inhale, let the energy come to the center and down to the belly. Inhale, bring the energy up to the center of the chest. Make a fist with the other hand and stretch. And relax. To the center of the chest, to the belly. That's one. Now again, you can do this using a little more internal attention, exercise, chi, firmness, or you can do it very soft and easy and relaxing. I would say, particularly in the beginning, to start off with easy and relaxing, and then you can work up at some point to more firm. Two, inhale. Let's do one more set of these. Coming back to a normal stance. Relax, let your mind and body expand out. Then shogun, gather and smooth. Here you really want to feel inside this something like a warm mist or moving down through the body. Sometimes people like stand under a waterfall, imagine standing under a waterfall and feeling the sort of nice tropical water wash down. Very good. So next we're going to do 
uh, raising what we call raising the single hand and actually what we're going to be doing is one hand is going to be going up and one hand is going to be going down and so this is traditionally thought of as really very good for the stomach and spleen so uh, I mean, part of your blood production and your assimilation very very good okay so a sort of a normal stance for this this one and what we're going to do is draw the energy to the center. From the center, one hand is going to press up, one hand is going to press down, stretching from the center. Then you're going to relax and move the energy back to the center of the body, which would also be the stomach spleen area, the center of the body. Then the other side. So, you want the palm to be pressing down and up as much as possible. Don't, don't strain yourself, but stretch internally and relax. And so that would be one series, and we would then do nine of those. So let's start. Start, inhale, bring energy up to the center, and then coming up. Feel a stretch and a release back into the center. I squat a little and come up a little. It helps to move the energy through the body. It's sort of a natural feeling. This is so nice to be doing outside where you can just gaze off into the horizon, you know, into the trees and breathing and particularly in the morning, listen to the birds. And it's very, very nice. One more set. Once again, let go of your body and mind. Feel your body just expand outward, way beyond your skin. Shokung, then we come back into the body, smoothing. So uh, the next one that we'll do is swaying the head and the buttocks. And oh no, let's turn head. Uh, turn head and um, gaze behind. This, this is very nice for uh, sort of um, 
Some, we tend to get a little tired, the eyes get strained. So by turning the head, what we're going to do is just gently, we can, I like to put my hands on my hips, or you can just gently stand uh, here. And we're just gently going to turn to the side and look as far behind you as possible. Now don't turn your torso to do this. You want to feel the energy from the center come from the center up, wrap gently and easy, and let your eyes gaze even further, and then come back. And then turn. And back. So, let's do this nine times. So I would inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let your eyes move, lead the movement. And exhale. Now it's important that you keep the head level. You don't want to be uh, bending at all here. Keep the head level you'll find a nice pivot spot right at the base of the skull and pivot swivel around on that spot. Turning the head. Don't force the movement, just allow it, allow it to expand. One more set. Standing comfortably, let go and relax. Shogun. Open. And lead the energy through with your mind. Good. Next we're going to do one of my favorites, I, I really like this, it's called swaying the, uh, the buttocks uh, and, and shoulders and buttocks. So let me, this is, a, this is quite an interesting movement. So we take, for this you want to take a, a nice wide stance and again if, if this gets to be too much for you, you don't have to do it quite as deep. The hands, I like to keep the hands on the pelvis with the thumbs facing back. I, I, you couldn't do it any other way, I don't think, but like so. Now what this is going to do is we're going to go down, reach. You want to keep your pelvis fairly stabilized. You're going to reach with your chest, swing around, come over, and at this point, you're going to stretch the body, you're on the right leg, and you're going to glance down to the left foot. And then come back to straight. You're going to inhale, coming forward, around, 
stretch, and exhale. Okay, so that's that's one set. All right, and you would do nine. We'll see it. it takes this takes a little while, so we might do, we'll do a few less. Okay, ready? Inhale. It's very good for hips, for spine, for general energy. Reach. Now, if you can't do this with one breath, that's fine. Just breathe naturally. But you'll find that as you do these kind of exercises, your breath will, uh, will change to match the movement. One more set. Relaxing. <clears throat> Letting the energy expand. Good. Shogun. getting relaxed and energized. Okay, the next exercise is called pull up the toes. Uh, now this is an interesting exercise in that it's sort of, it's a very good overall uh, exercise for internal and external energy, for your structure and your internal uh, energy movements. Um, and uh, what you want to do here I'll do it from the side. Now, I, see, because of the mic, I can't talk when I'm down. So let me demonstrate it first, and then I will uh, t t talk about a couple of the points.
Okay, so we're going to go down and basically grab a hold of the toes. So going down, well, you, you can do it one of two ways, depending upon your back strength, right? That, um, but you want to support, when you, when you bend over, you want to make sure that you're supporting your spine. So either you can roll down, which is easier, or you can stretch down. It's a little more work. Bend the knees, grab the toes, then straighten the legs, and we're going to press me, we're going to press the low back upward. We're going to like arch the back when we're down. So you're going to bend, the knees are going to be bent, then we're going to expand the back, stretching the spine, stretching the hamstrings, really moving the energy, then we're going to relax the knees and roll back up. At the end when we come back, we'll give a little arch, not a big deal, a little arch back just to sort of balance that. All right? So I'll, I'll start off this direction. And we do this, of course, nine times. So. At exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale, One more time. That's a big improvement over the old touch the toes, isn't it?
All right. That's a good one, isn't it? The next exercise is called punching with a focused gaze. Now this one, this exercise, very good for lots of things, particularly developing strength, opening the, the chest, the shoulders, the back. Um, it's good for working the hands. Now, not many of us make fists very much. And it's a very good exercise to make a fist. Now in Tai Chi and Qigong, when we make a fist, we, f we use a kind of a folding, you, you, there's a, there's a uh, first joint, second joint, and third joint. So you fold those over, and then the thumb is placed over the two largest fingers. So, now when we do this exercise, you don't want to be uh, squeezing too tightly. Now, we use, a, sometimes squeezing and creating a lot of tension in the body is good for breaking up blocks. Because if you squeeze, it's sort of like putting a dam in your energetic system and the energy kind of stops where there's this tension. And then when you release it, the energy that has been dammed up and built up floods down in there. So it's very good for things that that uh, tend to get stuck. Like if you went to an acupuncturist, for instance, they would tend to do the same thing, but they stick a needle into the dammed up place and, and then the energy flows hopefully through there. And so a lot of times with tension we do it, but in this case, um, I, I advise not using uh, much strength. Now, again, if you're a martial artist or you're working you know, to develop a muscular a torso, you can use sort of dynamic tension and it will build your muscles, uh, but um, that's not sort of the purpose of this. Okay, so how this one is done is again, they take a sort of what we call a deeper horse stance, a kind of a wider stance. And the hands are held uh, with the palm, what would be the palm upward by the side. And the hand that's going to punch is going to, we're going to punch to the corners, to the diagonal, and it's going to twist as it comes out. Now, you notice the arm is straight. Don't let the shoulder get involved. This is, the energy is coming from the center and coming out to this arm. And we want it to run freely. If you, if you lift up your shoulder, then you create a tension in the shoulder. You want to keep the shoulder down. Now the idea here is that the energy is going to feel a lot like connected from your center, like a bungee cord. Like you're going to stretch it out, and once it's all the way stretched, you're going to release it and it's going to move back into the center. In fact, most all of these exercises are going to have this quality to it. This sort of stretching from the center and releasing back into the center. A lot of benefit comes from doing that. It's sort of like the tides coming in and out, moving in and out. Okay, so um, let's just do this one. Inhale. Now you can either inhale or exhale doing this one. It doesn't matter and relax. I tend to like at the moment to inhale, kind of feeling full stretch and exhale. The things just sort of naturally pull back to the center. So that's one. You gaze. Now, part what we say with angry eyes or focused eyes, you gaze right at the palm and relax. And then the eyes relax. Yeah, this helps to develop kind of a focus your energy. And a lot of times it's done with really kind of big eyes, but let's not use quite that much tension and relax. If you want to develop a lot of quick chi, you could do it faster, right? But this is more relaxing, slow, develop sort of a large, powerful energy inside. You're stretching it out. 
and let it withdraw. Stretch it out. Looking right between, would be right between these two fingers. And back. Twist. Besides all the obvious things of upper body strength, you see we're developing a lot of strength by keeping this nice deep stance. It develops a lot of strength, these kind of stances. So if you find it difficult, you can use a more normal stance and that's fine. One more set. Now, this shogong, very important to us in the Chinese health systems. This dissolving down of any tension that tends to build up. You know, in the West particularly, I notice a lot, a lot of people, like they run and they, then they don't stretch, they don't relax afterwards. They don't gain the major benefit of the exercise, and that is the relaxation the calming and down of the body. So, you know, no matter what it is, if you're doing something, you're creating tension, you know, then just use, you know, you can just do it with your mind. And sometimes when we get tense, we get tense, we go, right? It's the same sort of dissolving down of energy. Here we use the hands to sort of help us dissolve down this energy very good thing to do. Okay, the last exercise, here very last, is um, up on the toes and down on the heels. And this is very good for finishing. It's very good for, you know, getting everything kind of moving and getting going. And um, so here we put the feet together. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up on the toes and then just kind of drop a little bit. So there's a feeling of kind of hitting into the heel. So what happens here is, as you drop down, it's sort of like hitting a, like, you know, in the, in the carnival where you bong and the, and the bell goes up, doing. So here, it's a lot like that. So you go boing, and the energy, you'll feel a vibration, and if your spine is nice and straight, the energy actually will pop right out of the top of the head. So, you want to feel this little whoom. And so keep your spine straight, keep your joints open, and you can go. Start off nice and easy. And then you can sort of increase it. And as you do this, you want to feel the body relaxing. You can feel all the muscles sort of letting go. And this is very good for the internal organs to keep them, you know, kind of relaxed. Good for the legs, good for the toes and feet, the hands. Now you can do this, I feel a little hipster because I have this microphone on my back particularly, but you can kind of jump all over the room and it's kind of very much, it's a lot of fun. But it just gets everything kind of 
broken up and loosened. I'm going to hold this mic a little bit and jump. And you can kind of jump around. Oh, making a lot of, I'm getting the signal into making a lot of noise. Okay. So that's the last of the exercise. But once again, let everything expand. This is your payoff. This moment right here. This feeling of dissolving into openness. Shokung. So now we're going to do a process to end and gather and work with all of this energy that we've accumulated or moved through the body. And the first part, what's called integrating, is very similar to the Shogong, only we use a little bit more focus. And then we're going to do another little um, sort of a meditation with this energy that we now have a little bit built up to work on our internal organs. So uh, it, it's a di directed, you can just do this along with me and um, it's a good finishing for any, for your Tai Chi or for any Qigong that you would do. Okay, so you're standing upright, open, breathing in and out through the nose, stay open. So again, just like Shogong, Gather, open, inhale. Now here, if you were outside, you'd gaze as far up to the, to the you know, heavens as you could. And imagine this energy coming down, coming through the Bai Hui point at the top of the head, and just inviting down this Yang Chi, this cosmic Chi down through the body. And as it moves through, it attracts any spent chi, any released toxins, anything you don't need, let it filter down through the body. Like silt filtering to the bottom of the pond. Down the legs. Out through the bottoms of the feet through the floor, into the earth, three feet down, grounding it. Using your mind to just ground that energy down into the earth. And this leaves your body open. So with your mind's eye, scan the inside of your body and you see all this room and space. See all the room and space, not a, not a solid mass, but but energy, room. You're relaxed and comfortable. No tension. Relaxed and comfortable. Energized. Like when looking inside, you can see that every cell of the body is lit up like a Christmas tree from the top of the head to the face, through your whole body as you look, all into your toes, into your fingers. Everything is light, little dots of light, all these energetic cells. And integrated, 
Everything is tied to your belly, to your belly like a spider web. All of these cells, everything is all integrated into the center, tied like a spider web. Now keep, turn the corners of your mouth slightly upward, smiling within, bringing this healing energy to your internal organs. So what we're going to do is just turning the corners of the mouth up slightly. This elevates and focuses the energy. With your mind's eye, look inside your body to your internal organs and sort of like with a flashlight, you're going to look at the internal organs. So focusing on the right side at your liver, smiling, just a little smile, and picture the liver as a bright, pure green color. Then move your attention to your heart and picture your heart as a bright, pure red color. Next, breathe your attention to the stomach and spleen on the left side and picture that as a bright golden yellow color. Smiling, focusing that light on that on those organs. Bright golden yellow. Next, glancing at your lungs and picture them as a bright pure white color. And finally, looking at your kidneys and your low back behind the belly button on the spine area and picture them as a bright, pure purple color. Smiling down to them. Your organs work all the time for you. You want to help them and give them some extra energy. Then say to yourself, happy and healthy, happy and healthy. And with your mind's eye, send that message to every cell in your body, happy and healthy. Very good. So I hope you've enjoyed the eight pieces of brocade. Remember, you can feel free to do one of them, few of them, all of them. They won't do you any harm. You don't have to do all of them. If you have time, only one is fine. But be conscious, keep your mind in your body, and um, you will, I'm sure, enjoy long life and good health. So thank you very much and good luck to you both.
My waist is turning slightly. We're opening. Ward off. The left hand's going to end up in the center of your chest, palm facing, nice round structure. The right hand is almost hanging down to your side, but pressing down slightly. Now, there's lots of reasons for all these things, but uh, we're not going to have time to get them all in today. All right? So let's go from the beginning. Okay, you, you still go this way, even though I'd like to see you. Okay, commencement. Sinking, ward off left, shift to the left, one join, two, lead, stick and lead, rolling up, nose points to the right knee, step forward, the left foot, then pong, ward off left, turning, expanding, coming up, into forward. All right, one more time, this time you face forward, I'll face back. Commencement. Shift. Join. Lead. Step. And open. Ward off. Left. Very good. Okay, well, I'm afraid we've just we've run out of time. So you've got this on tape. I mean, you've got this here. You, you, it's shown four times a week. You can order tapes from me or from PTTV. You can come to all these classes. You can write me, call me. You can do it. You know, hey, there's, you've got no excuses, all right? Next week, we'll review this really thoroughly, talk more about it, and then add in another movement, all right? So... Thank you all very much. Good luck. And thank you so much, Stephanie, and thank you, Gary and Gary and Rebecca. Thank you very much.